uh, I don't know a word to describe it. It's, it's gut-wrenching. It's brutal. You know, you feel like you've been, you've been punched in the face. Um, it's painful. It's painful. This is very personal. This is very personal for me. The Jets are my team. The Jets are our team. By our team, I say it's Jets Nation and us in this building and me. It's very personal with us. And the last time I checked, all the traits that make Rex Ryan our leader, our head coach, are still intact. He's an excellent football mind. He's a teacher. He's a coach. He's a motivator. He's a mentor. He's able to adapt. He sees both short and long-term vision. He's a competitor to his soul and he will never quit. Does it come as no surprise, it comes as no surprise that our players want to play so hard for Rex Ryan and his staff. No surprise to me. I support Rex. I continue to support Rex and our, our coaching staff. As has been our policy, we'll, we won't, we won't uh, judge job status in the season. We're purely focused on Kansas City Chiefs. We're focused on this week. If this league teaches you anything, you look too far in advance and the present will bite you. So, we, you know, we have enough on our plate for this week and that's where our focus will be. So you can't say even for the remainder of the season whether Rex will be the head coach? I, we're not going to address job status, Manish. We're addressing the Kansas City Chiefs. So there are signs there in our play to our fans, but we need to not signs, we need to show them wins. And I believe that will come.